Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a phased acid arpeggio, arpeggiator, arpeggio, whatever. This is what it sounds like. All right, so let's dive into this here as well. Let's turn off our effects here. So we're just gonna be using delay and reverb and a little warming compression here. And this arpeggio is going to be in the built-in here and we're gonna be going down. So let's turn this off for now and then let's listen to what this sounds like just by itself. Which you could use this as a, as a pluck if you'd like to. Totally up to you. So diving into this here, we are going to have this protection up all the way up and a little bit of sub here. This is one of the first times we've introduced this in this series so far. So minus 2.9 dB to really get that low end to shine. If we turn this down, we have a little bit more low end there. So it's kind of nice to have that well. And the protection is, is always on. You always want to use protection. It's very wise. Next, we're going to have crude low pass, and the frequency cutup is going to be 55%, and we're not going to be using really any kind of too crazy resonance. It's going to be a classic and all the way at the bottom. Next, we're going to be using an order of three for unison. The panning is all the way at the top. The detune is a 50%, so default, and the phase also default as well here. Next, we're going to be detuning this by one octave. So we're going to grab this little slider here in the pitch and drag it up. At, so it says two. Yours by default might say one. So drag this up to two, and then I'll drop that down by one octave. Next, we're going to be diving into the phaser. So we're going to be in the box setting on the octave slider right here. The mix is going to be at 31%, the width at 29, the offset is the default at 180, and then the speed is at 32. And no keyboard tracking for that. So let's dive into the volume envelope. So it's gonna have a quick attack and then it's also gonna go down pretty significantly fast, so half a bar. And this tension knob is very, I guess, finicky if you wanna say that. You really have to play with this, uh, play with this little bendy thing here and get it right. If we have a two down like this, it's not really gonna have that impact. So a little fat right there is kind of very useful in that sense right there. So going on to our filter frequency cutoff here, this is going to be the shape that we have to automate this knob here. So we're turning this on here and here's the middle line. So we drag this up quite a bit, 150% and then half a bar ish or so. I mean, this is not technically on tempo, but that's kind of what it looks like and is down 75%. So up from 150 down to 75. Turning this off is gonna ruin the sound. So you definitely want to have that in, in there as well. Next up, we're going to have the phaser width here. So this width knob here is going to be on the LFO setting. And this is kind of an interesting thing as well. So if we turn this off, so this is controlling this phaser width knob here with an LFO just a little bit here, and then it kind of goes straight. So really within this first hit, so this first half bar, it's going to make this small effect here. And this is up 25%, and then in the half bar, it goes back to zero, and it stays there. Small little change, but definitely something to keep in mind. It has, adds a little bit of character to it as well. Next on the pitch setting here, on the unison index mapping, I have all these, uh, I did try, as you can see with all these dots, with different kind of uh, pitch changes within the orders, but I found this one kind of worked out the best. So for three unison, you're gonna have one of them up by 700 cents, which is a fifth up. So one of those is going to be a fifth. And then moving on to the effects, because that's basically the sound creation itself. The effects are really going to bring it to life. So on the distortion, we had this log on right here. Now turning this off, it's not really going to be as impactful. So turning this log back on, we're going to have the amount at 30%, the ASIM at zero, the wet is at 50%, and then the mix, the distortion mix zero, and the filter is going to be about 11,000 hertz, almost 12K. Now we also want to add a little bit of reverb here, so let's turn this on and see how it kind of widens and makes it sound a little bit larger. Kind of makes it maybe, I don't know, maybe a little more industrial sounding, I don't know, but it does something to it that makes it a little bit bigger and everything like that. But we have to keep in mind we want to filter out that low end because we don't want that low end building up over time. So this is cut at 99 hertz right here, the top end is a little over 6k. The, the, the pre-delay is at zero, the size is at 33%, diffusion 100%, decay 687 milliseconds, the dampening is at 3K, and then the wet is at 55K. Mm -hmm. 
and then really no, uh, no compression on this as well here. And with all this kind of said and done, I've added some automation clip on the filter frequency. So I've automated this knob here, as we can see that moving as the song goes on. Now to make this really spiced up, we want to make it in ARP. So like I said before, let's go in this little gear here at the top left, this wrench here, and let's make this down. And generally right here, as you can see, this is kind of ascending here. We're opening up this frequency cutoff here, and it kind of almost alludes to something's going to be coming next, maybe a drop or a different section or something like that. Especially right here, as you can feel it start building. And this is really just adding some hi-hats in there to that drum kit, that drum loop, and then opening up that filter. And for some extra acid -y type of sound, as I always like to recommend, what's kind of funny is we don't really use any resonance, even though this is, has the acid -y kind of sound. We can also add some more resonance to make it a little bit more acid -y sounding. You can also automate this resonance knob as well because sometimes it can get a little out of hand. There's always that sweet spot with acid type of sounds by playing with that resonance knob. And as always, this patch is available for free in the video description below. So if you'd like to get it, go ahead and do so and make some cool songs with it. We'll see you in the next one.